Peoples, what's up? It's Kitty Bang and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about what I feed my dogs and before we get into it, this is Taquito. He's going to be my helper today and he's one of the dogs that eats when I feed them. I don't want to touch on this topic too much, but I feel like I should disclaim it because there's definitely going to be comments about it. Yes, I'm vegan. I personally eat vegan because I find it's the most natural for my body and I feel the best doing that. But I own animals and I feel like it's a privilege to own animals. And with dogs, I, from the research I've done, I find they do thrive mostly when they are on um, an omnivore top type diet. So I do feed my dogs a non-vegan diet. That's just what I personally do. I might change in the future because I think people evolve. But this is what I feed them for now and it works very well for them. So the first thing I want to start out by saying is everyone has different things that they feed their dogs. I know it's very hard because everyone has an opinion, but this is what works best for my dogs. Okay, so I do start out with a base of kibble. I've tried pretty much every kibble when it comes to it, Taste of the Wild, the really high expensive brands. Um, but I find that EM's Proactive Health Mini Chunks work best for my dogs, which is, they don't have the most amazing ingredients, but they're rated good on a scale of bad to great of dog food. And with my Australian Shepherd, who has a very sensitive stomach, on Taste of the Wild and other high-end dog foods, he was still, he was throwing up, he was worse than normal. And as soon as I changed him to EMs after researching about it, he started doing a lot better. So I find that this dog food has just worked the best and it is definitely better for my wallet than Taste of the Wild is. Okay, so I always start out with a base of kibble. Each of my dogs get a specific amount of cups. Oxer and Cider get one and a half cups, Jazzy gets two and a half cups, and Taquito gets half of a cup. Um, and then when I go from that, I start adding things to their food because I don't want to just give them kibble and I want to add some more vitamins and nutrients because their health is very important to me. The first thing that I add is sardines. The reason I add sardines is because fish oil is actually very toxic for dogs and can be harmful for them. So I want them to get their omega-3 fatty acids and the lowest mercury possible for from fish. So I find that sardines work best for that and they're easy and cheap. Okay, so the next thing that I added to their dog food is pumpkin, and the reason for this is because Oxer has always had a lot of stomach issues. Oxer is my Australian Shepherd, and I found as soon as I added pumpkin into their diet, it really helped with that. The reason for this is pumpkin has high fiber, which helps with their digestion, as well as beta carotene, I think that's how you say it, which the body converts into vitamin A. But because of this, you don't want to give them too much pumpkin because too much vitamin A can be toxic for dogs. I give my smaller dogs a couple teaspoons and my bigger dogs like a couple tablespoons a day. So I usually give them like one and a half tablespoons a day and then taquito I'll give like half a tablespoon. The next thing I add on is gravy. This is just because I feel like it's good to have actual meat chunks. The dogs really like it and it adds a little bit of moisture into the dry dog food. I, so I use the Apollo Gravy. I really like that brand. It's affordable and I really like the actual chunks. It's not as processed. So I'll use a tablespoon of that and then I'll mix water into their dishes and stir it all around so the gravy is kind of on all of their food so they enjoy it better. And I have had a lot of problems with getting my dogs to eat so this kind of just ensures that they're going to finish their food. Now I'm going to get my little water cup and add a little bit of water to each of them. And then for Taquito, I just got him the cheapest like Mexican cheese because he won't eat any food if you don't put cheese in it because he's spoiled. Okay, then let's start all up. Yummy. 
I really try to get everything stirred evenly because they tend to really like the gravy. Um, so I like to stir that and then it makes them eat more. Okay, so here's the finished product. That's Jazzy not being able to control her excitement. Do you want food? Yeah, you want food? Okay. Cider, oxer, sit. Okay. Cider, sit. Okay. I appreciate you all. Make sure to like and subscribe for Taquito. He's still here. <laughs> Hi, Taquito. He's like, I want to sleep, Mom. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. Today's creature call is going to Megan Hill. Thank you, Megan, for supporting us and watching all of our videos. We appreciate you. Taquito wants to give you a kiss. Actually, he probably just wants to nap, but that's okay. But thank you so much for watching all of our videos and just being so supportive. I appreciate you, Megan, and I appreciate all of you. If you want to get a creature call out, make sure that you're active, that you're liking and subscribing and that you're commenting on the videos. I always comment back, so talk to me in the comments below. I love every single one of you, and I'll see you next video. Bye!